Music and media is what you need, and Marky Mark has you covered. What do you do when you're born in the wrong time? You make it yours. Only on Classic Hits 1380 and 99.5 KQKD. We have entered the rock hour. We're playing all 70s and 80s metal and rock music right here on KQKD, and it is going to be a lot of fun. So we're starting off with the godfathers of heavy metal and Black Sabbath. It does not get any better than that. Sticks with Renegade right here on Marky Mark in the morning. We're here in the rock hour, the 7 o'clock hour, here on uh, Classic Hits KQKD, 1380, 99.9 FM. It's 7.07 in the AM, about 47 degrees outside. That is my favorite song of all time. Sticks is my favorite band of all time, which is well documented. Make sure to mention that whenever I can. But, um... Love playing that here during this rock hour. Maybe uh, maybe not the band you were expecting, because Sticks more in the prog rock, maybe uh, kind of the classic rock category, but that's what we're talking about right here. We're playing, playing hard rock, we're playing heavy metal from the 70s and 80s, all through the 7 o'clock hours to make sure and stick around. Interesting, though, with Renegade, uh, one of their bigger hits from the 1979 album Pieces of Eight. And um, when Tommy Shaw first wrote it, he actually wrote it as a uh, what he described it as kind of a uh, a dirge, a very very slow, methodical, a song that was kind of meant to take you on a, like a trip, kind of on a story, um, how, kind of how it flowed, uh, very slow. And then when he brought it in, it's uh it's pretty well known that uh, I believe Dennis Young was the one who kind of suggested that it kind of the tempo need to be kicked up and basically turned into more of a uh, just kind of a, a traditional rock song there. And of course that was perfect because it became it's I mean Come Sail Away is probably their biggest hit, mo- most uh, famous song, but I mean this is right behind it by just I don't know a a, sl- a sliver. This is still the song they used to close out their concerts. They still tour every year, and I've seen them I've seen them four or five times already, and they play this song last, and it is awesome. And it's great because they built in kind of a, uh, inch, a big instrumental part in the middle where you usually get to see some sort of a uh, drum solo. I know that during the 70s and 80s, um, John Panazzo would use it as his drum solo, and now Todd Suckerman will, will do that as well. And they kind of do it as their big farewell thing on their final song, and it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool there. So we are going to keep the music going, though. What do we got next? More rock. We got some hard rock here. We got ACDC coming up right here with the Back in Black classic Shoot to Thrill coming up right here on Mark Mark in the Morning, 1380 and 99.9 KQ KD. Enjoy. Rock of Ages by the great Def Leppard right here on March Mark in the morning, 1380 and 99.9 KQKD. It is 718 in the AM right now and outside about 48 degrees and cloudy going up to about 60 today. Should be partly sunny as well. So pretty nice day out there today. We're playing all rock music this seven o'clock hour. And, uh, yeah, and went back to 1982 there with Rock of Ages. Def Leppard in my top five favorite bands of all time. You'll you'll find a trend here with with a lot of the music we're playing this hour. And, uh, yeah, that's that probably my favorite song by Def Leppard. I don't know. They, they have a ton of them. I've seen them several times in concert as well, and they're, they're fantastic. They're, they actually, the weird beginning part, the weird German, um, the, you know, Gunter Glieben, Glauben Globen was actually... The producer, Mutt Lang, he would do a ton of takes during their recording of the song, and he just got, to, instead of just counting down the normal one, two, three, four, he had just started saying nonsense words, and the band liked this one so much that they uh, put it in the album, so I find that, uh, I find that pretty funny. It's pretty funny. We're going to keep going, coming up after the break. We got Motley Crue, early Motley Crue, and Livewire. Jason. Thank you, KD. In a scene that is probably the best from the movie The Dirt when they play Live Wire for the first time. Here we go, Live Wire, Motley Crew on KQKD. We're continuing on through this rock hour on Marky Mark in the morning, 1380 and 99.9 FM. We got a little Guns N' Roses right here. 
And we're about to welcome you to the jungle, so don't go anywhere. Classic Hits KQKD on Facebook and Twitter. How many times you got to get to hear Iron Maiden on this station? Not a lot, but we got it right here. The Trooper by the great Iron Maiden on the rock hour of Marky Mark in the morning. 1380, 99.9. There we go. The Trooper by Iron Maiden right here on Marky Mark in the morning. 1380, 99.9. KQKD, Redfield's own classic hit station. And right now... It is its rock station for this 7 o'clock hour, 7.33 in the a.m. As we continue on, it's about 48 degrees outside and cloudy. And it's only going to keep getting a little bit warmer going all the way up to 60 uh, today. So it should be pretty nice out there. But yeah, The Trooper by Iron Maiden. That is from the 1983 album, Pieces, uh, Peace of Mind there. And uh, this is one of their better performing singles off of the album as well. It is... Uh, based on the charge of the Light Brigade at the Battle of Balaclava in 1854, which took place during the Crimean War. As with many of Iron Maiden's songs, they're about, they're, most of them are about some sort of historical event or historical thing. Uh, Bruce Dickinson, a huge history buff there. And so that is that's kind of what this song is uh, is from, which is pretty awesome there. We're going to keep going. we got news and sports on the way before getting back to The Rock. Yes, that's right. We're going to have early Bon Jovi coming up right after news and sports. We're playing the first ever Bon Jovi hit, the song that actually was a hit before Bon Jovi was really Bon Jovi. Yeah, that's right. This kind of formed the start of Bon Jovi was this hit. we got Runaway right here on Mark to Mark in the Morning, 1380, 99.9 KQKD. You didn't think we could do a rock block without a little Jimi Hendrix. Here we go, Purple Ace. Walk This Way by Aerosmith, a 1975 huge smash hit from you know, one of the uh, premier rock bands, of course, from the 70s. Of course, the song also revitalized their career with the uh, Run DMC version in uh, 1986 which kind of helped revitalize it but to me that's not the one i prefer i prefer the actual one with the full-on rock music you're listening to mark mark in the morning the rock hour seven o'clock hour here on uh, 1380 and 99.9 kqkd right now it is 750 in the a.m and outside it's still about 48 degrees and to be honest, we're about at the end of the rock hour. So we're going to close it out after the break. We got some Judas Priest and Joan Jett. To close out the rock hour, you're listening to KQKD. Again, we got to close out the rock hour with a bang. We got some Judas Priest right here with You've Got Another Thing Coming. So we got one more song to help us close out the rock hour. Here on KQKD, and it is Joan Jett, Bad Reputation, right here on Mark Mark in the Morning. <laughs> 